esto siempre lo hago en otros sitios, pero hoy lo hago en, ma en Madrid, en mi ciudad. Bueno, yo soy de Barcelona, pero en mi ciudad también. Estoy yendo a Filmoteca Española, al Cine Doré, porque está aquí James Gray. James Gray, el fucking James Gray. Pues sí, está aquí, eh, Filmoteca le hace un homenaje, le hace un ciclo a James Gray, los mejores directores en activo, si os lo digo, y estrena Armageddon Time, que es su última película que yo pude ver en el pasado Festival de Cannes y que me gusta muchísimo. No es lo que más me gusta de James Gray, porque James Gray es el director de Two Lovers, que es la mejor película de la historia, o también es el director de La Noche es Nuestra, que es la mejor película de la historia, o también es el director de, de la, la Ciudad Perdida de Z, que también es la mejor película de la historia. Así que no es la mejor película de James Gray, pero es una película preciosa, preciosa. Un coming of age maravilloso. Jolines, no puedo andar y hablar a la vez, me quedo sin aire. Ahí la edad. On time. Porque está... Ah, yeah, James Gray, listo. James, this is Alejandro from Sensation. Alejandro, how are you? Nice to how see are you. you? It's, uh, Thank you so much. It's always a honor to be with you, Mr. Gray. Thank you. That's such a nice thing to say. It's an honor to be with you. I'm, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm a ridiculous person. No, absolutely not. Uh, now is the voting for the sight and sound at yeah, top, I the know poll. That. Ten years ago, I put in my list Flowers. Oh, really? Yeah. That's man. nice. No, no, it's did, I, did I slip out of the top 10 this year for you? The, this year, I changed the 10 movies. Oh, you do? Yeah, I changed the 10 uh, for not voting the same 10. I But see. 10 years ago, I put. That's very nice of you. Oh, Two Lovers is a masterpiece. It's one oh, of the best you. movies of this century. Uh, oh, thank you. My humble opinion. But you know, some people really do love it. I, it's weird. When it came out in Cannes, when it premiered, it was like, boo. I was there. You were I there? Was, I was clapping. But it was not well received. Can is hard always yeah. with American directors. That's something that happens. And it, for me, it's really sad. I'm, I'm, I'm angry all the time. Can. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I, you know, I don't, I've long stopped going to Cannes for like a prize because you know what it is. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. And the one thing I would say is uh, it is not something that contributes to an idea of a subtle or uh, a kind of a a movie that demands some kind of introspection or rumination. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, after the screenings now, it's only gotten worse because after the screening now, you, you, the, the credits come up and you see everybody's phone light up and they're tweeting. Yeah. And it's like, when I first saw The Conformist, my reaction was not to like, you know, send my friend a message. Yeah. <laughs> to sit there for a minute and you go, okay, what does this mean? The, 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 there's something interesting because you called the Armageddon time the the 70s 80s yeah but i don't think this is better times than the armageddon ones no i believe in progress but progress is a very long-term thing it sort of goes like this you know it's not a steady rise where everything gets better all the time the, the world is in the united states is way better now for lgbtq people mm -hmm. than it was in 1980 i mean way better But it, the problem is, as I see it, when you're talking about white and black, anti-Semitism, those things, is that they're connected to ideas of class. And because uh, class is connected to the uh, economic system itself, mm -hmm. it becomes a little bit more intractable. Class is a key part of our identity. But uh, the system has tried to remove that part of our identity because Uh, it doesn't want to contend with yeah. the difficulty that capitalism brings us. In other words, the, the, the idea of uh, striving, wanting to uh, have a better life, is maybe the same thing that puts your foot on somebody else's neck. Uh -huh. you know? So um, it's all connected. Mm -hmm. And that's a troubling idea. And we haven't contended with that. And it's gotten worse because... Back then, there was the Soviet Union, so you had a counterweight to American capitalism. Mm -hmm. And today, that's gone. So everybody is a it's capitalist. capitalist. <laughs> When you are visiting your childhood, um, coming from like a science fiction movie like Adastra, a 
Werner Herzog movie, like Z, the Lost City of Z. Um, this is kind of, a, I don't know how much um, autobiographical is the movie, but uh, is is deeper that the travel, the, the, the journey that you have made with this movie than the, the, the last two ones? You know, I don't know. That's hard for me to answer because I don't get to watch my own movie, you know, no. I, I'm in, in it. So I tried to make all those films personal just because, I mean, this, this one is more the facts of the case. I've always tried to be personal. I mean, I, I don't know. Is this deep? I, wow, it's a good question. I don't know the answer. I have no distance, you know? <laughs> you as the viewer, it's yours now. It's not mine anymore. Well, that's an incredible answer. <laughs> it's a very good answer. Is it? Well, I mean, it's true. It's like, I, it's like if you, you ever write an email that you forget to send, mm -hmm. and then you read it two weeks later, mm -hmm. and you forgot what you wrote, and you read it, and it's like a, another person wrote mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the feeling I have. Wow. It becomes not part of me anymore. Like I haven't seen, you mentioned Two Lovers, I haven't seen Two Lovers in 15 years. Wow. Um, so, I mean, whatever, I, in fact, I've had people tell me that this, in a way, feels like that movie. I have absolutely no idea why. I didn't intend for that. I've seen it last month, I think. <laughs> last month? <laughs> yes, because I'm writing a book and I'm putting on, on it. Oh. I think, it really, it's one of the best movies of this century. I think what you achieve, I like all your movies, eh? but Two Lovers has something in terms of sensibility, tragedy, but then also kind of suspense, uh, uh, in, intrigue, and, and the missing a scene is incredible impression. I, I want to ask you about the, the last question, <laughs> uh, about the Miss Anacin. I, I would like to ask you if you have, uh, you arrived to the set with everything raw in your head, how is going to be mm -hmm. all the sequences, or you, you let uh, yourself uh, take decisions uh, in the middle yeah. of the working when the actors are prepared. So are you more um, cerebral or, or instinctive person? The uh, unfortunate answer for you uh -huh. is the, I think, the right answer. The right answer is that it has to be both. Okay. You, have, you arrive to the set always with a very specific plan. I, I'm always shot listed. I know exactly what it is I want to try and do. And then you throw it away because the actors bring things to the scene. And what you hope is that the work you did beforehand somehow gets into the details because the longer, I have to explain it just a little bit, I'm sorry, this is not a brief capsule answer. The style of acting in movies has changed and that dictates more how you direct than it used to. So for example, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, he, he, he could storyboard every scene because he would say, Cary Grant, can you walk from there to there? And so Cary Grant would walk from there to there and he'd say, now Cary, say your line. So he'd walk from there and say, I don't know what you're doing, right? He would then cut. They would have that shot. And today, after Montgomery Clift and Marlon Brando and that whole school of acting, uh, when Brando, you know, picks up the glove and on the waterfront, y y you realize that the actor is, uh, it's a very different style and you have to accommodate their willingness to go into a room you didn't light or to come up with this idea. And so the director must be open to ideas that enhance the idea of the scene. But also, as the director, you have to get rid of the notions that get in the way of your original idea. So you have to know your original idea uh -huh. and then figure out what makes it better and sort of guide the scene a little bit. It's a difficult part of the process. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks. Now we are coming up to the Impresionante, ¿no? Ha sido increíble. Parecíamos colegas. Ha sido, estaba, estaba contento, estaba animado. La verdad es que qué placer poder estar 
un rato más largo de los cuatro minutos que nos suelen dar y no por Zoom sino en persona con un artista de la talla de Grey. Hoy estoy súper, súper feliz. 